12 and a half get you a quarterback I got them shits flying like spirals I like my true fun sensor He is a great artist, so I'm expecting this You know, um, like I said, to go straight to the top as soon as this one drops Nipsey John Legend is probably, that's going to be a banger Yeah, yeah, definitely They're going to they deliver Let me segue into this, oh God, because we're speaking on some of the people that were very vocal after Nipsey's death, a lot of the celebrity, and one of them being Game. Now, Game is on social media, been dropping a post on Nipsey Hustle ever since his passing, one a day till I fade away. And he's taking criticism for it. Some on his podcast, some from me, as far as wanting to seek attention. He said something on his platform today that caught my attention, and I wanted to speak on it because it gave me a little bit of a different perspective. I want to get your perspective on it. Yes, you know, he wrote a lengthy post, so I'm only going to read a little bit of it. It says one nip post a day till I fade away. I did it in pure intentions of honoring my homie and his memory as I know him. And he would have given his heart to servicing my memory if the same had happened to me. I didn't think of how its consistency would make those closest to him feel as my post have a long reach. In no way, shape or form did my posting my nigga daily do anything for me outside of making it harder for even myself to accept the reality of his passing. But as the days and posts grew, I saw the positive effect it had on the many people who read them. And that gave me a lot of joy. So I continued them. I am now at a crossroads of what to do or how to continue these motivational posts, service bro's memory and give those who wounds are reopened with every reminder their tranquility. I can bring myself to and i have my own marathon to continue in his memory i think the best option for me at this point would be to maybe do it once a week and call it marathon mondays let me know what you think and i will use the other six days a week to continue giving you daily motivation and hope that it will give you the same fuel the previous post had use today as a reminder of how short life is and seize the moment for tomorrow is not promised to any of us in any part of the above mentioned disappoint you my apologies. I come to you in my most humble state, asking you truly find understanding of my decisions. Hashtag the marathon continues. Oh, God. What's your thoughts, man? I mean, you know, again, I'm feeling that, you know, from obviously it seems like he's been getting a lot of backlash, you know, for continuing to um, honor Nipsey. But you sit back and you say, like, all right, that's what I said. People can say that it's clout chasing and this, that. And but what are you really getting? You know, what I mean, that he don't already have at this point. He's not going to make no money like that. He might get a few more followers comments and the blog might talk about you a few more times in the year but it's like what are you really getting out of it and then we can't sit up here and be so judgmental and uh, um dictate how people are going to mourn or remember somebody you know what i mean that was his dude they was cool i mean they, they spoke about each other on numerous occasions so i mean in a way that he died it hurt everybody people that didn't even know this dude yeah, yeah. felt it for reals because we're human not because people are trying to clout chase or do this or that, because we're human beings. We forget that. Like, we got real feelings. And when we see, st- you got people that watch movies. Your girl be watching a movie and it's not even real, but something happens and they bust out crying. All right. It just happens. So, you know, salute the game for that. Um, now, early on, it may have looked like that, but he's just, I think, you know, personally, that he's just really trying to honor, you know, a friend and he's hurt badly. You know that this had to happen, and he's probably it's probably going to take him a while, you know, to get over, you know, um, this. So I think we need to fall back off a game, and I think that he himself saying that he's going to maybe maybe make it marathon Monday is kind of like maybe the pressure is getting to him a little bit, like he wants to fall back a little bit from it because I don't care what you say, enough people start saying stuff, enough is going to get to you. So yeah, but but I th- I think that he's genuine, man. You know, Ogan, one of the things I pride of myself when we started this podcast is being open and honest and and a lot of the times when i was trying to find opposition because we mean you can't always agree i go to my genuine feeling and if i don't agree with something genuinely if i don't understand something Mm -hmm. i usually oppose it one of the things that i don't understand is social media in 2018 2019 it's something that i've never really gravitated to or understand its importance Mm -hmm. i understand that we need it out here it's driving force it's great and all that but too many people look to that for validation and that bothers me I don't understand how people can sit back and, and be programmed by so many things that they say and let it cause a reaction or feel as though they need to need to pick this up every time they do something in their life right. just to seek validation. In my mind, that's seeking attention. I could be wrong in that because I don't understand that. That doesn't make them wrong. That just makes them today's age. Game is my age. 
but he is an evolution of today's prodigy. So he may have been moving with the age and be reacting in the way that he reacted. Me not understanding that, I automatically looked at it as, man, he's motherfucker seeking attention. How is he not? Dudes on his phone going off. I would never do that, but that's me. It's part of the day you know and age as well. When we talk about that, the social media thing, it's just um, a lot of the entertainers now live their life through that. You know what I mean? As well. So it's just like, um, of course, they're going to get on. It may have looked extra a lot, a lot with a lot of people. But I mean, they I think a lot of people are looking for that reaction. They're like, yo, I want the world to post me talking about my man Nipsey or or, or going at Kodak for talking about my, my, my girl, Lauren and my man Nipsey. I want this to happen. You know what I mean? So I, I mean, I. I I don't know. I don't know. I, th I it, think it's like that for real. It's wanting that and, and just take all names and all things aside because a lot of people want it. I mean, that's the world we live in. Yeah. It's wanting that. that would it, no one is going to happen, though. You know it's, it's going to yeah, happen. You want it to happen. Like right. you said, you, dro you drop the video knowing that it's going to fucking yeah. and fly. Right. And that's what you genuinely want. Right. Did that take a little bit of authenticity away to you? I mean, how else would you do it? I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I understand the thing about hitting somebody behind the scenes or whatever, cool with the TI, but like with the game, I mean, you know, how could game, how we know, how could we take it for granted that game even has his con Kodak black contact information? He might not even fuck with him. So the next thing to do is going to be go on social media, turn your phone on in front of your million plus people and say, look, nigga, F you. You know what I'm saying? You should have never said that. Boom, boom. When I see you, so and so and so is going to happen. Okay, TMD's on it. Boom, boom. All the blogs start to cover it. Now it's a story for a couple of days. It gets whatever you know views on there, and the point is made. Now that now the person sees it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So I mean, call it what you want. The message gets across. I think. I think ego runs that sometimes still, and I, I don't know if I'll yeah. ever back off of that. Just 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 in my mind, I'm just do going. You think, do you think it takes away from the authenticity of the person when they do it? Do I think it takes away? No, I don't. And right. I can I can honestly sit here and say that I've changed my perspective on that because three months ago yeah two months ago yeah right, i'd right. have been all out saying hell yeah it takes away from his authenticity but what i've had to understand is everybody's not me and i'm not everybody so just because you perceive it i perceive it the way i wouldn't do it doesn't right, mean right. you won't right and a lot of people in this generation it's how they fucking move mm -hmm. so when you tell me he didn't have a way to contact him i even think well damn you on ig damn him but then what you gonna screenshot that and show that to the world too uh -huh. it's like man do we have to show everything i guess i'm just private at heart to where if i have an issue with you i'm going to hit you privately if right. you have an issue with me i would hope that you would hit me privately even though the day and age we live in nine times out of ten it's not gonna happen but what do you but, but my thing is like what if you're the game what would be the benefit of you hitting them privately like just saying that like fuck it i'm doing this shit in the public i wouldn't we he already offended so why try to make it cordial after he already offended you know what i'm saying you're your people this is so why I'm, I'm just asking i don't know as yeah. an all right I take it from a perspective of me being 35, when which is game is at least 35, it may be older than 35, 36, 37, yeah, 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 yeah. and a 21 year old Kodak Black. I put both of my shoes on. 35 still a and man, 21. He's still a man. I was still, yeah. a, we both were still men, but we both made dumb decisions that we were somebody could have checked us on, so we would have moved different. He's in the right. public eye now, doing real dumb shit. We still see him doing shit that's getting him in trouble and trouble and trouble. Mm -hmm. And he needs his he needs guidance. He needs somebody to steer him away. So I would just hope in that situation, even though you're full of emotion and this just happened and it's fresh, that you could just take it as a man and go, I was 21 once. Let me text this motherfucker and let him know what's good. The fact that they reacted so quickly to jump on their phone made me just go. Now, if he didn't respond, would you then go in? Yes. All right, I, I, that's fair. You know yes. what I'm saying? Like, if you hit him up. And you wouldn't have much right. time, nigga, because you saw it. Right, right, exactly. You know? About a day or two, maybe. A day. Right. You got right. a day right, to let me know something because you saw it. So would you make him apologize or what? Would you just like, yo, you got to come apologize for that? What are you saying, nigga? Fuck you. I'm not apologizing. Then we going on wax. Or yeah. the next time I see, if this was me, if this was me. Right. The next time I see you, I'm slapping the shit out of you. <laughs> right. Because now we've crossed the line. Back. It's right. time to work. I'm not texting anything else. And if it's on camera, it's on camera. If it's not, it's not. But I know I have to take care of that business. The back and forth on the camera, it just makes it seem real <laughs> WWE-ish to me. Yeah. Because then we get the blogs and everything, and they start running to it. And I mean, we, we run to it. You see Cardi B? She put, she put a video out. She was uh, pretty much going in on the blogs. And um, she was kind of talking about uh, mainly the shade room. But then she kind of talked about how people kind of, um, the blogs, you know, benefit off of it, the beefs and whatnot. 
And um, if the black, she's like, she said, if the black blogs cover the beef and whatnot, how could you expect the white blogs not to do it? You know what I'm saying? Like as we, as if we're setting the precedent in this whole, um, you know, media thing. So what do you think about that? She also blamed, you know, the media, the blogs for the Kodak Black and TI fueling it, igniting the beef, which is cert certainly true to a certain extent, but it comes with the territory. It's like, all right, you're on a football field, you might get a concussion. You know what I mean? You might break a leg. This comes with the territory. This is what it is. But what do you feel about what Cardi B said? Tuned into the greatest Motherfucker, you ain't never lie If them people watching us like YouTube Then tell them motherfuckers 